Welcome back to Everyday Woman. So let's have a real conversation about women taking over traditional men's roles. Madison, you've seen in sports, you've seen in marriages of your friends that women are kind of stepping in on the men. Okay, but I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Like women are becoming football players? <laughs> no, <laughs> well, <laughs> there are women who are trying to be on men's pro teams. So, you know, there's the woman who just joined as one of the assistant coaches Brilliant. on a men's basketball mm -hmm. team. What do you think about that? Um, if a woman's trying to be a coach on a man's basketball team, it's not that she isn't smart enough to understand strategy and all of that, but there are physiological and psychological thought processes and things that are going on in a man's body that a woman may not fully understand. So yeah, I think you can cross boundaries sometimes where you take it too far, absolutely. So do you think we've taken it too far? I, I think in some ways we have. Not that because I'm saying women can't be everything that they want to be, or they're not right, smart exactly. enough, or they're not, you know. It's just that sometimes it's like, no, actually you can't be a man. You know, you can you be a basketball player? You just be a proud woman. There's yes, nothing that, about me that wants that, to be a man. Why not coach yeah. women's clear, basketball I don't want to be a man. Why teach, you know, why go into men's sports? Why, why not teach... If you're a right. woman, why not coach women? There's you understand so much work that on. needs to be done with women. I okay. really wish that instead of competing to be a man, we invested our time in supporting the growth and evolution I of women. I wish I could get up and kiss you right now because that's so true. <laughs> yeah. Because what, what happened to just being a plain old woman? Mm. Sexy, vibrant, yeah. you know, educated, nurturer of the family. Why do we feel that? Because the man is moving here. We got to do that because there's some, some reason we're going to fall behind. We're not equal. You know, Sorry, people. Men and women right. are not we equal. equal. We're not, we're not even equal. We're not even designed the same yeah. way. Well, and on that note, I have friends who go to their jobs specifically not dressed feminine, not for practical reasons, but because they feel in their office they won't earn the same respect as a man. Yeah, that's true. So they true. step into this role of almost dressing more manly. Yeah, but you know, a little cleavage will get you a little. <laughs> well, I, mean, yeah, like, I want to wear a tutu and heels and be treated the same way. Bring it on. There, I don't want to do, have to do that. And I think it's such a shame that so many women feel that way. You know, you know there, instead there of being dressed like this, you know, they put on a suit there, to look like a man. Look, if, if, a, if a man showed up in his Superman shirt, you know, and expected someone to take him seriously, it, it would be hard to take him seriously. There's a so place we, for girl power and there's a place for man power. Right. It doesn't always cross. Um, you know, no, I, I, I want to be, I want to be girl power all the time. And I know it doesn't work, but when I, when I wanted to grow up, when I was young, my hope, my, we come from a military background and history of military, uh, you know, veterans in my family. And I wanted to grow up and be in the military. Right. And I was, I'm mean, going to be an officer in the military. And Were it you was trying rare. to think like a man? And, you know, I didn't think of it that way. But yes, I got out into the dirt and I did all the stuff mm. with the boys. I did what the boys did. And I yeah. talked to a female officer mm -hmm. and I'm trying to figure out how, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go with this? And when I t started talking to the, to the female officers during that time, they discouraged me from going into the military. And I thought, well, are you jealous? I'm just younger. What's going on here? But the stories that they gave to me were like, no, that's not a place for women. The type of abuse that we received during that time, the type that you're be prepared to, do? to, to uh -huh. get defiled regularly, let me, let me mentally, physically. It, sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Why do we want to push ourselves to the point where we have to make But, but what, I think what, there's what, a point. In what does that look like? Think like a man. What does that, are we saying that women are subservient or sub, in their thinking? Did, what does that okay, look like? Okay, isn't there a book written by, I believe, Steve Harvey yes, that says, says, think like a man, think, act like a woman, exactly. a lady. Think like a man, act like a lady. It's going to get you a lot farther if you understand the way a man thinks in the business world, in the romantic world. You will get farther. Because we're relating to other, we're relating to men. Because I don't want to leave with women that we're sometimes we're some dits because we don't think like men. No, absolutely no, not. Right. No, but there is an art to being able to understand the mind of a man. You can think yes. like a woman and you know understand the mind. Okay, of a man. I have a question. If there was a man sitting here talking to us about our menstrual cycle. How real do you think that I conversation would be? I can't stand that. When you go to a gynecologist, <laughs> this is totally off topic, but no, if it's a man and he tries to tell you how it feels. Like right, yes, I understand like, that like, every 28 days. No, no. Right. Exactly. No. So, yeah, there's that crossing where men at some point are going to look at us and go, why am I having this conversation with you? 
Okay. Because there are conversations that we don't have with men because it doesn't make sense. Not that a man can't be educated. Right. Not I that a man that. can't understand it. I understand but that. But at some point we're like, do you bleed regularly? I yeah, don't so know. Are, but do, so you okay. think we're disservicing well, women I mean, well, I, I think that because we, we think, women think with their hearts, men think more factual. But if I be, begin to start thinking factual, I don't want you to say that I'm doing that because I'm trying to be like a man. No, I am in expanding my thought process. Yeah. That's why I don't want to necessarily leave that if you start thinking intelligently, you're thinking like a man. No, you're expanding your thoughts. You're being a smart woman. Yes! <laughs> a woman. Stay tuned.